Hi, blessed sun rays and lucid moonbeams to you. Many of you know me as Ayansa T. Muse, but my full name is Ialorisha Scribus Ayansa I. Ivory Ogbolurin Funimoleti Muse. I know that's a lot, right? And I am a mystic priestess, divinatory, literary, visual, and performing artist who has dedicated her wisdom, life experiences, and all of my crafts to your spiritual enlightening, enjoyment, and healing. I came into who you see today by process of elimination and holding on to only the things that align with higher purposes. I can show you better than I can tell you. Moti akole ekeloju awonoju ti awone kungunati para ugumokan. Opolopo ona fin han emi bata ipa ona ati ni ibe emi abolapo oruko. Dieni nu mima awon mi iran be emi oju edigbawi. Awono ye oruko emi bere? <laughs> ba je. Yellow Risha scribe is Ayansa Indigo Ivory Ogbo Lorene Funimole T Muse. <laughs> I know it's a bit much, but trust I'll show you how it was fused. As all that organically grows, let's just start from the root. Ninth letter, three syllables, Ivory. My maternal grandmother's namesake, meaning pure at heart, precious, rare, but far from free, like elephant tusks used to create tools of music, piano keys, a relic of spiritual protection, and the coast of a motherland continent. Laureen. The mystery of me. The namesake of my paternal grandmother. A German term meaning famous warrior, a reference to the kingdom of the storm wind. Hmm. My father's old earth, given to me, mine to rebirth. T. A whisper of my maiden last name, my father, Ibashi Gungu Faith, his mustard seed grain. The initial itself spreads from east to west, meaning people who lived on the outskirts. Until called in to bring justice, the spiritual best. And suddenly, the act of my life had faded into blackout. The curtain fell attached to all that pertained to the life I knew. I suppose Ivory grew tired of being poached. In the midst of all of those accomplishments, I still felt like something very vital was missing. And then life as I knew it shattered. All tear drawing tales aside, for now, life took a very dark turn for me. And Everything I knew to be true turned out to be false. Everything I thought I loved, I began to feel a disdain for because of that vital thing um, <clears throat> that was missing. And in that space of darkness and, and solitude, I found that missing piece. And the missing piece was the light within me that I needed to allow to shine all along. You know, the funny thing about being at the bottom is that once you get over everything you think you lost, you get to look forward to all there is to gain. And the blank slate brings prime grounds for creation, even if it's recreation. Life brought about a whirlwind of shamanic scars that glamour and worldly accomplishment couldn't hide. I stood at the crossroad with my soul torn wide open, heartbroken in understatement. My heart had been ground to sand, 
All about life I thought I know took a total TKO, but still I took a stand. Something in me ignited at the crossroad between evolution and demise. And to the universe I extended my hand and asked for nothing but divine assignment and told the latter of all kinds to take a long walk down a musty alley. And during those years of darkness came intense solitude, intense purification, and intense cosmic study. Because all the while my own life was under reconstruction, I was being called on to pull others out of the tunnel too. Ninth letter, three syllables, indigo. The intermediary bridge between ivory and Iansa. This name changed many times. An ever-changing hologram of my oracles that span across the globe. I am she of the third eye, whispering supernatural essences hidden within the whole time, where purple and blue fuse. The throat speaks the mind, many, 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 called upon me for advice. Muse, a goddess source of artistic inspiration, where my innermost thoughts form that find their fuse. A signature from my lifelong village, many, many people called me this, good, bad, and indifferent, years before I claimed it for myself. See, being a muse is both a gift and a challenge, and the challenge becomes a curse when certain patterns don't cease. Time and time again, many depicted me in images that told lies fragments. So I had to ask again, whose inspiration was I? She the goddess thought I'd never ask. Well, nothing could have prepared me for what happened next. I really couldn't believe this part. It was like, it was like a promotion from the divine. Even as a scribe, a sacred scribe, scribess as my title reads, I really have no words for this. The transformer, a twist to create. Mother, long life to you. I lord ayaokuo, olomode keyo. Ninth letter, three syllables, Ayansa. My spirit name for divine mother of the wind, the realm of the ancestor ones, the winds that have gone, the ones that are to come, the breezes and the twisters are the fruits of my womb, oh boy. Yoruba for she who brings the medicine, who forges elixirs and poultices so her children may taste the delights of healing. Funimale, I offer you enlightenment. It brings excitement to teach all within reach, all that who have the ears to listen, all that have the lips that glisten with hunger for the truth, the beautiful truth. Long story short, Call me Ayansa, spelled with three eyes. Welcome to my web and welcome to my world. And seeing everything in its cosmic totality, um, past, present, and future, the journey just became so fascinating that I couldn't keep it to myself anymore. So welcome to my channel of Mystic Memoirs. I manifest that you'll be enlightened, you'll be entertained, you'll get a lot out of it, and maybe even some inspiration to tell your own divine stories. They're out there. Just come through your memories. With the right pair of eyes, they will appear. Be sure to visit me on the World Wide Web at www.poeticallymused.org to explore the entire plethora of my healing arts. I